Hopefully getting some more turnovers after getting a couple weeks off. Is this pretty much the game plan right there? Man, we had so much fun out there today. I mean, would I have liked to join the interception party? Absolutely, but I talk about it all the time, man. If I get one pick, no picks, man, four, in, four interceptions, I don't know how many sacks we had, but I think the stat that I'm most proud about is, I mean, obviously we had the shutout, but seven yards rushing. And I think seeing some quotes and stuff earlier in the week about Urban Meyer saying that, you know, they felt like they was able to run the ball on us. So it was pretty, felt pretty good going into the game. Seven yards rushing, man. So we went out there and handled our business, man, handled the, the keys that we knew that was going to have to win, which was stopping the run. Yeah, because I think early in the game, we really started hitting Trevor Lawrence, uh, got some good pressure. I think we had two sacks on the first drive. So, um, like I said, just really proud of the guys, proud of the effort, and also proud of when I obviously came out the game late in the fourth quarter, guys were still flying around, making plays. So, like I said, just an exciting win. It's going to be a really good time watching film tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to have some stuff to correct, but whenever you can get a shutout, man, it's great. You talked about how the speed seems to really be present out there and mentioned how maybe it's kind of headed into the vibe absolutely i really felt like guys were flying around and like i said anytime you can get a shout out you stop the run uh i think it was really good tackling out, here, out there today i mean they hit a couple you know they had one big play one big pass play but other than that man i think we did a really great job the communication was great like i said just a proud just proud of my team proud of the effort that we went out there and played with today What's it like when you can implode, if you will? You guys certainly did things, but they also. Yeah, I think, in, you know, a game like this, I just feel like even just talking to the guys pregame, we just got to go out there and handle our business. At the end of the day, we know what kind of team we are, and I feel like the last two losses that we had, we kind of got away from that a little bit. But like you said, man, we're stopping the run, going out there, not giving up big plays. We gave up a couple, and they had a little cheap one at the end of the half. But like I said, man, guys are just flying around, doing what we needed to do. It uh, wasn't necessarily about Jacksonville Jaguars and their team. It was more about us doing what we need to do and playing uh, to our strengths and who we are. There was something to be said, too, for, for letting them make their mistakes while you play. Yeah, that's the type of team we want to be. I mean, I know you guys heard Vrabels talk about it before. Like, we want to be the good team, the great team that takes advantage of other teams' poor football. So, you know, I think we did that today. They didn't have much luck moving the ball against you guys today. At what point did you guys think, hey, we can shut them out? Probably going to halftime, honestly. That's something that we talked about leaving out of halftime. Hey, let's go get a goose egg. I mean, we talked about coming out there, dominating, flying around, getting to the ball, getting turnovers. And uh, like I said, it's just an exciting thing. Uh, I know we had a turnover 2018 in New York, but to get, a tur to get a shutout at home, I think, since like 2000. So, you know, that's a pretty impressive stat right there. Did you guys know that, like, late in the game as you're on the sideline cheering on the guys, that, that, that it was that? that, that yeah, we didn't know it until, I mean, Vrabel told us at the end of the game. But honestly, on the sideline, we were just preaching, shut out, shut out. You know, every time we had to go back out on the field, right, if we had a turnover, whatever, let's go out here and keep playing, let's go get a shutout. That was like the main motivation in the second half. Pretty much at will in that last game. You know, how, how, what were the lessons learned and how much motivation did that serve? To yeah, I mean, we just knew that wasn't us. I mean, giving up 190, I think that's what it was, 190 yards rushing. And we knew that they were going to be confident going to this game because they ran the ball so well. So, like I said, I think the most impressive stat in this game other than the shutout was seven yards rushing. Like, I don't – they all might have to check that stat. I don't remember last time we've given up seven yards rushing. I think somebody said it was, like, back in the 60s. But that's, like, the Oilers. I'm talking about, like, modern-day Titans. So, that's pretty impressive, honestly. In this league, you see over and over again, teams get back in it late. I mean, just look back to Thursday night. How important, how impressive that you guys were able to, to finish this one the way you started? That was the most impressive thing. And like I said, the motivation was to go out there and keep being us, keep flying around. But we really wanted to get a shutout today. I mean, like I said, going to halftime, we talked about the shutout. We're still flying around the second half. So every time we come into the sideline, we're like, let's get, a, you know, let's get this shutout. Let's make sure we preserve this shutout. And I think guys really understood it. And we just kept flying around and making plays. Guys were trying to punch the ball out. We didn't get one. I think we almost had one coming out of halftime. They didn't give it to us. But, uh, I mean, guys just, just doing what we're supposed to do, man. I think we just had to keep it going, keep stacking these wins. I mean, I mean, it could be a, a lot of different reasons. Obviously, um, 
I think coming out of the bye week, guys, you know, was able to get away, uh, kind of came in, refreshed, re-energized. Uh, guys just wanted to have fun today, and that was the main thing. Go out there and have fun. Let's not worry about all the talk that's been going on throughout the week with this team, that team. Let's worry about us. Let's go out here and play our brand of football, and I think we did that today. He did a cartwheel? I didn't see it. Well, somebody got to send me the video. I'm pretty sure when I get out of here and get on Twitter, I'll see it. But that's impressive. I, I definitely didn't know he can do a cartwheel, but I definitely want to see it. I want to see his, uh, his technique on there. I don't know if you had an angle on the receiver. You guys had two receivers to the right. Buster and Molden were covering there. They kind of ran right into it. Yeah. What, what was your take on that? Uh, I was laughing, honestly. It was just, you know, end of the game. When guys run into each other, you know, I don't want to speak too much on it, but I was talking some trash a little bit to him. But, uh, you know, it's kind of – it's one of those things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Tough for them boys over there.